Welcome back, Nathan. This is NJ New Gamer here, and we are once again playing Assassin's Creed Valhalla. And dun, 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 dun. we are currently high enough to take on this area, and I did. I've already raided the last two, <laughs> last two places, last two abbeys actually, and I've taken out all but three of the member of the order, order of the Ancients. This fella who we're about to kill, this person who we're gonna kill, and this person who we haven't killed. But it's, that's not the only thing I've done since reaching level. Oh, what's my level again? Level 30? Damn, I must have gotten up higher than I thought. <laughs> oh, what was I? What, level 30 something? A little under level, not level 30, level 300. <laughs> anyway. Um. Yeah, we're going to kill this fella, then we're going to head back to camp, or head back to the village, Raventhorpe. Uh, and then we're going to... That's a big fella. That's a big boy! Let's see. Uh oh. And it's a good thing I've got a light bow on me. It's kind of loud. You get. Oh no, it's not loud enough. Skittering away there. There we go. Man, these fellas are really easy to take out once you're picking out the weak spots. I thought I'd burst. And that is the last seven. We sweat and toil to reach this moment. The ancient ones lap at my sweat now. That war sweat the Roman gods hate so much, we long for. This god, or that. A good feast with fresh battle milk on your brows is not something you will ever taste again. Choke on my bones. Oh, that was good. And that is the last member of the order of the exit. What was it? Hmm? Hmm? Birch them. Birch them. Birch them. Birch them. Hmm. Ah. Oh, it's been a long time. Oh, yeah. Also, I, um... Used my formage materials to upgrade my thing. I 
upgrade my settlement, yeah. Let's see, I fully upgraded the cattle farm. And I fully, well, I didn't fully upgrade, but I started upgrading the um, fowl farm. But I'm going to need a bunch more materials in order to get finish that thing. Maybe another 200 raw materials, maybe? Depends on how much more we need to upgrade it. <sighs> Damn, Avor looks far better with the um, tattoo around the eyes. Or the wall paint there. Nah, I'm going to call it wall paint. Considering its location. It just breaks up the whiteness of the face. It's the blondness of the hair. Oh. oh, excuse me. Feeling a little Ooh. troubled. Bungle's rune. Oh wait, this is the wrong one. Increase armor when stunning an enemy. Oh. Look at this, it's kind of true. You know with what tasers do. I think that's what they meant. The taser thing. I was going to switch bows, but I'll do that in a bit. This is what I want to show you. What have you got for me to? I'm practically oh, giving it away. Have, huh? guess I already have upgraded everything. Use it wisely. Ah, oh, the bike grows up because you've actually got that amount. Shopping for the day? Yes, my dear. Until next time, Eivor. Yep, until next time. But this is the building we want to go to. Yes, I defeated more legendary animals. All of them, in fact. Eivor, all, all except for the one in Jotunheim. Beautiful, beautiful. Nature is amazing. Yep. Now I'll say where I got where most of them were, or where the their location. Okay, these two. Uh, no, no, not these two. This one, the Elk of Bloody Peaks, and Beast of the Hills. We're back in Norway. Or was it this one? No, 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 I take that back. It wasn't Beast of the Hills. It was Bear of the Blue Waters. And Bla Elk of the Bloody Peaks. This one was in Sussex. Uh, that one was in um, Wessex. Well, not Wessex. It's in that Ham something something that, um... Well... There's also one more. Oh, it's not displayed here. Yeah, there's actually one more animal that isn't actually displayed here. There's an achievement for killing these ten animals. Well, these nine and plus the number ten. The tenth Happy one is a myth that you find in um, Vinland. May I see us? All done. Yeah. I must take my... Until next time. Yep, till next time. Now let's go see where these heads are. Wolfgar, so glad to see you. Oh, they might actually be in my room. Yeah, I'll see. Where's the head? Yeah. Okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to have the feast. Pay for another feast. 
or should I? I mean, sure, the assassination thing is all good and all fine and dandy. You know what? I changed my mind. We're not going to have a feast. Oh, but there's something we can do. I just can't believe I can't believe I just realized it. How is that thing? <coughs> oh, pardon me. I forgot about my drug dealer. Now let's check in the world map. Registered power 35. Uh, I'm close enough. Yeah, I'm close enough. So, uh... Yep, might as well finish this now, because I, I truly, truly want to finish this. Was it my original intention, of course. You really think flighting can compare to sagas, to true poetry? Compare? I think it conquers it. It is quick, clever, accessible to all. It is the art... Hmm. I mean, sure, fighting is something everybody can do, but unless you got it, well, don't bother with it. <laughs> unless you got it, don't bother with it. That wasn't the place, by the way. Winchester Shire. I oh, Winchester. That place. That wasn't the place, by the way. I mean, it's around the place that I was talking about earlier, about where you find these two lynxes. One of the legendary animals. And let's drink the escar potion. Rah, rah. Sorry, listening to Ra Ra Rasputin before I started recording. <laughs> oh wow, it's seven. Well, qu almost quarter past seven. In the evening. Not the morning, the evening. Oh shit, I should have done it before we got here. Yeah, I could wait till after. The third sister is what I was getting at. She'll give us another piece. Then we could use the three sword bone item things we got from the three sisters to get another armor piece. Then once we killed every single member of the Order of the Ancients, we can get the final armor piece. Then we put all the armor pieces on. Then we go to another place. And then we get the we get something that completes the set. <laughs> you know what I liked? There was an Assassin's Creed Odyssey, but it wasn't in this. Those mass battles. The Norni told me you'd be here. The cord is forged. Gleipnir, I call it. I'll wager there's a good story behind that wound. A tale for another time. Thank you for this. When you bind the beast, spare no loose ends. The cord will stretch or shrink to fit your needs. How tightly will it hold? The beast may resist. The more you tighten the cord, the stronger it will hold and the greater it will hurt. Till the beast is rooted to the ground. Thank you, Ivaldi. You may go. You mean from Asgard, do you not? My debt to you is paid in full? Yes, as promised. Thank you, Harvey. I, uh, I did not expect you to remember. Where will you go next? Under the mountains of Svatalpheim. Our mountains, to free the Earth's riches, for this is what I know best. Forgot about the eye thing. Hmm. 
Bro, wasn't that the name of um Odin's horse? Oh no wait, never mind. It wasn't the name of Odin's horse, it was the uh, what do you call it? Did I save it? Okay, as long as you have a save from before we actually enter that scar, we'll be all good. The rope. I was thinking, isn't that the name of um what's his face is? Uh, yeah, he's got a, like, eight-legged horse, I think. Well, eight-legged flying horse. It's like a Pegasus, but an extra, with an extra four legs. Oh, there's another doorway here. Wait, nine rounds? One, two, three, four. Oh, each of these doorways must lead to a different round. And the one down, what's his face? Um. Okay, I'm going to call him Better Looking Gimli because I've already forgotten his name. By you. The one that better looking um, Gimli is heading towards Even is... Even Thunder's fury won't weaken my will. Oh, what was I saying? I had another idea. Maybe, maybe we're not Odin or Loki. Maybe we're Loki's kid. Maybe we're Fenrir. Fen Fenrir. How the hell do you pronounce it? Maybe, yeah. Maybe we're the wolf. I mean, sure, I had the theory something like that before. But I was speaking more in terms of being the wolf as opposed to being Loki's son, the wolf. Yeah. Oh wow, doesn't that look familiar? Sorry, moving on, sorry, so I just need the thinking again. But um, maybe the reason why Loden keeps on talking to us is because he knows we're the one to kill him. And he's been trying to avoid it. I remember coming here before. Come on, move quicker. I don't want the tide. Did you call that a tide? Nine rounds. Oh, I get it now. Don't know why I didn't see it before. Think of um the nine rounds as a um circle. And in the center of that circle is Yggdrasil. And then take that um, circle, well, take the circle, divide it into nine equal parts. And at the center of those nine equal parts is Yggdrasil. Uh, 
Oh, I'm gonna pause the recording. I'll be right back. Hmm. Sorry about that. Um, I wanted to ask somebody something, and then I got caught up in watching Pimple Pompey videos. Tyr, are you near? Kind of gross, eh? I don't know why I didn't think of this before. Now I think about it, it's, it's kind of gross. Javi, you're a bomb to my eyes. What happened to yours? A sacrifice for something greater. Is the wolf nearby? Yes, but he's grown. I have kept him company, but he's consumed by a sadness I cannot understand. Regrettable, but necessary. I knew from the start this wolf brought ill tidings. From the start it was a kind creature. But our mistrust and cruelty have robbed the poor wolf of its sweetness and life. Would it be a kindness to kill it then? We are past the time for such mercy. This wolf has power now that would test our strengths combined. I fear he is possessed of a power that renders him ever-living. Then we will offer him a different fate. This cord is unbreakable. You must convince him to wear it. It will act as a leash, whose magic will signal that he's safely secured. An assurance to the Aesir who fear him. A beacon, that is all. No harm will befall the poor Fenrir. Fenrir, yes. You know the creature's name. Did Logi tell you? He did. It's a fine name. Yes. Dweller of the Fence. An apt name for his current fate. Of course, we had the dwarf um, make something. Henry! A good word has come! <laughs> Leave me! I wish you well, Great Wolf. But a fear still hangs over Asgard. The Aesir worry about your growing size and strength. Do they now? And what do they have to be afraid of, old friend? Harvey brings a collar fashioned by the dwarves, a beacon. That we may track from a distance to know where you roam. Wear this, and you may live and thrive in Asgard without worry. Oh, I smell something sour. Wear the collar, or return to Jotunheimer. There's no third way. Son of Loki, have I not treated you with kindness? We are bonded, you and I. And as I trust my king, so you may trust me. Open your mouth. As a pledge of faith, you may take my hand if I am untrue. Fair. Be swift, Harvey.
deceiver. I just had a theory. Another theory. <laughs> I'm having all kinds of theories today. My theory is Sigurd is Tear. It'll explain the lost arm. That's sick it's up Shit, how much arrows do I have? Brothers will fight one another. Kill one another. You speak in riddles. The home of the gods turns red. Red with war. Oscar. It's a cryptic. Yeah, the light bulb just now rains down and then hitting it points. Something I'm missing. Critical, no. Shot, no. Damage. Okay, let's try heavy damage. Storms. 
An age of wolves. Where did you hear these words of prophecy? Hi. Probably should have been paying attention. Ah, you got lucky. Saved it at the right time. Damn, have I got a dude, but it's not gonna help me.
actually seems easy to come this way. Tear is gonna hate us. I could not strike the killing blow. All my oaths remain unbroken. Anyone lesser would have succumbed to his hatred. If I could have done this any other way. There was no other way, Harvey. Our fates are fixed. Fate, oh no, you made a great sacrifice on my behalf. It was not for you. Do not think your kindness has made you a new friend, Lord of Imbeciles. I will kill you, all of you, gorging on Aesir flesh. You may strike the final blow, son of Loki. But I will savor my years of freedom before we meet again. <laughs> Come, old friend. The healing hands of Freya can help you. Have you come to say what I fear? Not to say, but to show a vision of the times to come. None living or dead now equal our heavy in arrogance. To believe that you could remake your fate thus. For all your efforts, for all your struggles, the threads of fate still bind you as tightly as ever. And yet, from this pattern, a single strand escapes the fray and stubbornly clings to the weave. Esir, Vanir, your doom will come. The earth will shake, the sun will die. Jötnar will stalk your streets as fire rains upon your heads. And the great wolf Fenrir will feast upon your blood. But you have found a way to live beyond this terror. Let it flow. To cheat your death. From the life tree we go, to the life tree we shall one day return. Mind and spirit will search to a time far beyond your own. To a time in which you shall be reborn. None may follow. Loki least of all. It is done. Time to face our end. Holy crap. Does now that is that look familiar?
Now tell me, does that not look familiar? It's pretty much... Well... <laughs> that's pretty much exactly the same thing... Well... That's exactly is the same thing as that other thing. Exactly the same thing. <laughs> you know the animus thing? Exactly the same thing, man. Exactly the same thing. What the hell is that? Oh, wait. Oh, it's a bow. Thing next to the sword. The thing, next, the bow next to the sword, is what actually gave it away. Well, what made me think, what the hell is that? But that looks exactly like the animus thing, except for, except, I guess you could say, lay it over. Yeah. Except for that, it's like um, you take the thing we saw in the animus thing, and we lay uh, uh, we lay over Eivor's perception of it. Not how we would see things. Well, not how Leda saw things, which is what we saw in the animus thing, but how Eivor saw things. You want to speak to our drug dealer? Eivor, you okay, have awakened. With more to share, I hope. I returned to Asgard. And what did you see? I bound the wolf Fenrir, Loki's son, with an unbreakable cord. The beast was enraged by my actions. We fought and I prevailed. But I could not kill the beast. You visit lore and legend, things I would never have imagined to be real. Parables, yet here you live them as memories. Every moment there was as tactile and as vital as you and I seated in this hut. This is wonderful. Was there more? There was a... a betrayal. I betrayed my friend Tyr. He stood by as the great wolf mauled him, tearing his arm off at the joint. I could have said something to prevent it, given him a warning. But I did nothing. How did it feel? I was unmoved by his pain. Not hateful, but I did not regret my indifference. A swig of poison that drinks like wine. Selfishness unmeasured often feels this way. What else did you see? I witnessed a final vision from the Nornir, the coming of Ragnarok. All was fire and ash, a chaos like a foul wind from the depths of Genungagab. But we were ready for the coming storm. Eight of us. We drank the mead, then stood and marched to our doom. That was the end of the Nornir's prophecy. How curious. Was there more? I can make sense of no more. I see. The thrust of these visions seem clear to me. As in your first reverie, a fear of betrayal hangs upon you. Odin has seen fit to gift you with his infinite knowledge and the treasure of his experience. Perhaps his tale is a warning. 
The indifference he felt is a great pity. See that you do not follow this same road. To do so would risk a loneliness, a personal exile, worse than death. I understand, or I hope I do. Thank you, Valk. Oh, that's the end of that. No more tripping in Asgard with her. <laughs> so I'm going to end the video here. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye now.